Howdy folks, welcome back to Doing Room. In today's video, we're gonna cover replacing an old outlet or a broken outlet with a new one. In my case, my outlet is old. It's 60 plus years old, it's original to the house, and it's just a two prong outlet. Obviously today you need that third prong for any appliances or even like a laptop or a computer that requires a, a, a ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the old outlet and replace it with a proper outlet that incorporates a, a ground. To go the extra mile, the outlet that I'm going to install also has the USB ports built into it, which is really handy. I've got them in a couple other places throughout the house where you tend to plug in your phone and, and, and that sort of thing. Now, a repair like this is not terribly difficult. In fact, I would call it fairly easy, but some people might be intimidated working around electricity. And if you're at all uncomfortable with working around electricity, probably the best thing to do is call an electrician. But if you've done some electrical work or you're not uncomfortable doing it, there are some simple safety precautions that are very important that if you take, this can be a safe home repair job that really almost anybody can do. And if you're willing to tackle this, you're gonna save yourself 100, maybe even more, by not having to call a contractor to come in and do it for you. Because they're gonna charge you for an hour's worth of work, even though this repair job takes only about five to 10 minutes at most. Now real quick, I wanna introduce you to Jonathan Jones, the blues Western singer songwriter. And he's been nice enough to make his music available on Doing Brew. And if you like his music, and I'm sure you will, I'm gonna put links to his website, jonathanjonesmusic.com, as well as his YouTube channel in the comments. So take a look. Also, following the outlet repair, I'm gonna give you a quick snapshot of the next few projects that I'm gonna be bringing to you all through Doing Brew. I'm really excited about all of them. They all pertain to the big kitchen remodel that I'm in the middle of and I'm sure you're gonna like it. So after the outlet repair, stay tuned for about a minute and a half, two minutes, and I'll give you a quick rundown of the handful of projects that are coming your way real soon. Okay, folks, let's get this repair underway. First thing we have to do is secure the circuit breaker. Once that circuit breaker is secured, we can remove the face plate on the outlet Next, we want to unscrew the outlet from the outlet box or the wall, but I still want to be careful. I want to ensure that I secured power at the breaker, and I'll do that with my circuit tester. Sure enough, there's no power coming to this outlet. Next, we need to disconnect the hot or black wire, as well as the white or neutral wire from the old outlet. Now, you may have noticed that there's no ground wire that bare copper wire that you typically see. That's because these old outlets just weren't grounded. But that ground wire is secured to the metal box and we'll connect it to our new outlet here in just a moment. And here's our new outlet. Now the copper screw terminal is where the black or hot wire attaches to. The silver is where the white or neutral wire attaches to. Now attaching the wires is a pretty simple process, but you'll notice here that I've got too much bare wire of my, on my neutral line sticking out beyond the back of the, the outlet. That to me is just not safe and we can do a better job than that. So just disconnect it, straighten out your wire, measure out about three quarters of an inch of bare wire, and then go ahead and reconnect it. Be much safer that way. Thank you. 
Now that's a better, safer connection point. Now here I've unscrewed the ground wire from the back of this metal electrical box. And I apologize for the bad angle, but the contractor 65 years ago did not give me a lot of extra grounding wire to work with here. Now all I have to do is put the wires back into the box and ease that new outlet in and we'll go ahead and secure it. Now it's back down to the circuit breaker panel and let's reapply power to this outlet. Now there's one final safety check. Let's make sure that we wired this outlet correctly. After I plug this in, if I get the two orange lights on the right, that indicates that I've got the proper polarity and a proper ground. So this outlet is installed correctly. The last step is to secure the cover plate Okay, and with that cover plate in place, we are done with this outlet repair. And as promised, here's a quick rundown of some projects that are coming soon. A stacked ledger stone backsplash, which came out really nice. Next, I'm going to apply that same stone to a peninsula gas fireplace. Also include the hearth build and a box beam cherry mantle. Next up is the build of a custom kitchen ceiling light fixture, which is a really fun build that incorporates direct pendant lighting as well as some pretty cool LED indirect lighting. And the molding details built into this fixture match the Craftsman style surrounds used throughout the house. Plus you can do some pretty fun things with current LED light technology. I'll show you how to do all this in upcoming videos. So those are the next projects to come out on Doing Brew. If you're interested in any one of those and you want to make sure you don't miss them, please subscribe. I have a whole lot more in store as I continue the renovation of this old house. Plus, I've got a lot of fun projects uh, for springtime and summer that are soon to come out as well. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching this video, folks. I hope you found the outlet repair informative and useful. And as always, best of luck on your next project and look forward to seeing you back here on Doing Brew. Let's enjoy some of Jonathan Jones's music. Say, baby, what's your